everyone welcome back to another video this is Bruna today I'm going to be showing you and also it's my very first time crocheting this how to crochet a Barrett this one that I'm wearing right now I made two because I loved it so so much this one is actually for my mother-in-law she saw me wearing this one and she loved it so so much so she asked me if I could make one for herself and I'm not gonna lie this one here that I'm wearing it's my favorite so I will be making another one of these because I want one for myself because the shades are incredible I usually wear brown and copper like this so with this one it's incredible now for it goes really well for autumn right this one as well the shade it's incredible so both of them I love 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 so much this one it's made with a cotton blend and a cotton and linen blend and this one is wool and acrylic so this one is a little bit warmer and this one has more kind of like a movement as you can see this one is more sturdier ah I love both of them so this is what we are going to be crocheting today's video I'm going to just stop rumbling because otherwise I'm gonna talk for 30 minutes here with you because I love talking to you so I really hope you enjoy today's video I cannot wait to share all of my autumn projects that I have in mind I'm super excited about all of them <laughs> so stay tuned for all of the videos and I really hope you enjoy today's tutorial if you do don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up as you always do and also don't forget to subscribe and to turn on the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video so enjoy the video everyone and let's begin with today's project so here we have all of the materials for today's project starting with our yarn that we are using so this one here is the one that I'm using for the tutorial and I made one as you can see here because I was testing the pattern I made with the Alma yarn this one here this beautiful shade as you can see and it's also the perfect autumn shade as you can see it has all of the different autumnal shades in which I love <laughs> and this one here is the Gabrielle yarn also by Teslan, so both of them are from teslan.com and with my yarn I am using a 4.5 millimeters hook I've also used the 4.5 millimeters hook with this one here that I've created so they will be exactly the same size because they are both DK yarns and then I'm using a tapestry needle, a small pair of scissors and a measuring tape so that I can measure all the, the parts that I'm going to be doing. This one is going to be a one size fits all. So these are all the materials you can decide on any yarn you want. I've decided to go for autumn shades because now it's autumn and it's my favorite season. So I will be using a lot of autumn yarns <laughs> for, my, for my next tutorials. So yeah, <laughs> I really hope you enjoy everything that I have coming up. So now these are all the materials and so now let's begin with the tutorial. So the first thing we are going to be doing is creating a round of 22 centimeters. All right, you can do any other pattern you want. I've decided to be a little bit extra and add a little pattern here as you can see and then with the double crochets in the middle, I think that, that it's incredible, it looks so beautiful. Here you can see the double crochet is increasing and everything. So this is the very first thing we are gonna do. And then later we are going to be doing some decreases and also the ribbing that it's gonna go around your head. All right, so let's begin. Let's get our yarn ready. So first we are going to be starting with a magic ring. And then we are going to be chaining three, so one, two, and three. And then we are going to be working 15 double crochets going around our magic ring. And the chain here that we've created at the beginning does count as a stitch, so we are going to be having 16 stitches in total going around the magic ring. Once you have your 15 double crochets, we are going to now close the magic ring. And then we are gonna go into the chain and we are going to be slip stitching both sides together. You remember that you should have 16 stitches going around. So now let's move on into round number two. So first you're going to chain two 
and then we are going to be creating a few clusters to create this beautiful design here this one i made with two double crochets in one stitch we are going to be making three for this one so you can decide if you want to do with two double crochets or with three in one stitch we are going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook we are going to go through that same stitch where we've created this lip stitch and then you're going to pull up a loop so this is the beginning of a double crochet and then you're going to yarn over pull through two keeping the last one on the hook and then you're going to be doing that one more time wrap the yarn around the hook go through that stitch the same one and then pull up a loop yarn over pull through two keeping the last one on the hook and then to finish it off you're going to yarn over pull through all the three loops together and then you're going to chain one and you're going to be creating another cluster into this first stitch so wrap the yarn around the hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two keeping that last one on the hook and then you're going to be repeating that two more times so two and three in total and then to finish it off you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops together so that's how you're going to be creating the cluster so now we are going to chain one we are going to be skipping a stitch you will see that there is a stitch here just beside the pre this cluster the previous cluster and then you're going to go into the next one you can always count to see if you're getting the right stitch and then go into this one and create this little cluster group that we've created so you're going to be creating the first cluster with three double crochets and then you're going to chain one and create another cluster into that same stitch and then you're going to chain one skip the next stitch go into the next one and you're going to be creating our shell our shell cluster let's call it a shell cluster because it's going to be easier for me to explain what I'm doing So that's what you're going to be repeating all the way around so you're going to chain one skip a stitch and then shell cluster into the next one so when you get at the end you should have three stitches left as you can see so we are going to be skipping the next one remember to chain one and then we are going to be creating the last cluster shell chain one and then you're going to be skipping the next stitch and you're gonna go right on top of this very first cluster you will see that there is kind of like a little V here a stitch right on top so here is where you're going to slip stitch so we have round two now completed so now for round three we are going to slip stitch right in between the cluster shell so here we have the very first cluster shell and right in between these two we have a chain one we have the same into every cluster shell there is a chain one in the middle so we are going to slip stitch right on top of the very first shell and we are going to be creating another shell right on top of this one exactly what we did into round number two so we are going to chain two and create a cluster shell right on top of this one and then we are going to chain one and in between the shells we have a chain one space so right on top of the next chain one space we are going to be creating one double crochet by itself chain one and then go right on top and in between the next cluster shell and you're going to be creating 
the next cluster, the next cluster shell. And then you're going to chain one, and then one double crochet on top of the next chain one space in which is between the cluster shells. So we have one here, one here, it's right in between. And then we are going to chain one and right on top of the next shell, we are going to be creating another shell. Remember that when I say shell, I mean that you have to do the two clusters and the chain one in between them. All right, exactly like I showed you on round number two. Chain one and then one double crochet into the next chain one space. And then you can just keep on repeating the same steps all the way around. So when you get at the end, make sure that you chain one and then create one double crochet on top of the next chain, the last and next chain one space. And then you're going to chain one again and you're going to be slip stitching right on top of the next stitch available. So right on top of this cluster, the very first one you can find. And now we have round three completed. <laughs> so now for the next round, we are going to be following the same steps as the previous one. So we are going to be slip stitching right in between the first shell. And then right on top of this one, we are going to be creating another shell, another cluster shell. But this time we are going to be chaining two instead of the chain one. So create the first cluster. And then instead of chaining one, we are going to be chaining two and then create the next cluster so that we can complete the shell cluster. There we go. And then we are going to chain one and right on top of the one double crochet, right on top of the stitch of this double crochet, we are going to be creating an increase in which is two double crochets into that same stitch. So we are going to be increasing the double crochets in between the shells. So we started with one and then now we are going to be having two and then increasing every time we go up. And then you're going to chain one and shell on top of shell. But remember that this shell we are doing a chain of two and not a chain of one, right? So that's all we have to repeat for, for this round. And I'm going to just continue and I'm going to be repeating the same steps all the way around and then I'll meet you right at the end. So I just got here at the end of round four. So we are going to chain one and we are going to be creating the double crochet increase on top of the last double crochet that we have. So two double crochets into the same stitch, chain one, find the first cluster and slip stitch. So now for round number five, we are going to be starting exactly as we did. We are always going to be starting exactly the same as all of the other rounds. So we are going to be creating the first shell on top of the very first shell here that we have at the beginning of the round. So the only thing that is going to be changing will be the double crochets in between the shells because we are going to be increasing. So chain one and then for this one we are going to be doing two double crochets into the next two stitches on top of the double crochets. So as you can see this is how it should look like. So you had two into the, the previous round so now we have four. So we are increasing two double crochets in each little group that we are doing of double crochets. And then the next one, we are also going to be increasing two on each side. All right, you will see what I mean. Let's just do this one first. So you're going to chain one 
and then go right on top of the shell and you're going to be doing another shell. So now you're going to chain one and create two double crochets on top of these two double crochet stitches. So we are increasing on top of the two double crochets. So chain one and repeat the same all the way around. So when you get at the end, you should have the two last double crochets. So we are going to chain one, skip the chain one at the beginning and at the end, so we are not using those chains. And then we are going to be creating two double crochets on top of the first double crochet stitch and then two double crochets on top of the next double crochet stitch. Chain one, go right at the beginning into the first cluster and slip stitch. So now we slip stitch on top of the next cluster and here we are going to be creating the first shell exactly as we've been doing. And now we are going to be increasing again. So chain one, we are going to be skipping the, the chains at the beginning and at the end. We are just working on top of the double crochets. So here we have four stitches. So into the first one, into the first double crochet stitch, we are going to be doing an increase. So two double crochets on top of this first stitch. And then we are going to be creating one double crochet on top of the next two stitches. So we are not increasing on top of these two. And then the last one, the last double crochet stitch, we are going to be creating a increase. So we are going to be increasing at the beginning and at the end of the double crochet stitches. And then skip the last chain one, chain one, and then we are going to be creating shell on top of shell. So we've got here into the four double crochets, remember to chain one before we move on into here. Skip the first chain, go on top of the next double crochet stitch and then here we are going to be creating a increase and then we are going to be creating one double crochet on top of the next two stitches and then an increase at the end. So instead of having four double crochets we have now six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Chain one and continue the same steps all the way around. So when you get at the end, chain one and slip stitch to the other side. So here we have our round number six completed. So we have six rounds in total now and we are going to be repeating one more exactly like the last one, round number six. So we are going to be doing shell on top of shell and when we get to the double crochets here, we are going to be adding one increase at the beginning and one increase at the end. So instead of having six double crochets, we are going to be having eight in total here in between the shells. We are going to be repeating the same all the way around. So go ahead and do that and I'm going to be doing mine. So I'm going to be having seven rounds in total and then I will be back to show you because the the next one, round number eight, is going to be a little bit different than this one. So here we have seven rounds completed, so now we are going to be creating round number eight, in which the only thing that is going to be changing is that we are going to be creating only one increase instead of two, as we did into this last round here. So we are going to be doing only one increase and it's going to be into any middle stitch here of the double crochets. So we are going to be starting exactly the same way as we've been starting the rounds. So we're going to be creating one shell on top of this very first shell. 
So now we are going to chain one and we are going to be working our double crochets on top of the previous double crochets. So skip the chain one that we have here at the beginning, go right on top of the first stitch and then double crochet and we are going to be creating one double crochet on top of the next three stitches. And then when we get into the fourth double crochet stitch, we are going to be creating an increase. So two double crochets into that same stitch. So we are not doing two increases anymore. And then now we are going to be finishing here all the way down with double crochets on top of these double crochets. So we are going to be having three double crochets on this side, increase in the middle and four double crochets here on the other side. And then you're going to chain one and shell on top of shell. So now we have to repeat the same as we did here, right on top of these double crochet stitches. So we are going to chain one, skip the chain one space here, go into the very first stitch and then create one double crochet one double crochet into the next one and also the next one. So one double crochet on top of the next three stitches and then increase into the next one. And then one double crochet on top of the next four stitches. And then you're going to chain one and shell on top of shell. And then from here, we can just repeat the same steps all the way around. So here we have the eight rounds in total that we have to do for the very first part of the barret. This is going to be the top of the barret. And then now we are going to be starting to do some decreases and also some rows without increases as well so that we can start to go down. So when measuring, you want to make sure that you measure on the double crochets and not on the shells. So from double crochet to the other side, not shell and shell, okay? So from this side all the way to the other, we have 22 centimeters. So if you are using a thinner yarn, you are going to be doing this last round until you reach the 22 centimeters. If you are using a thicker yarn, you're probably going to have to stop um, here on this section without this very last round. All right. You're probably going to have to do less rounds than I did here. So now we are going to be doing two rounds, which is nine and 10 without increases or decreases. So it's just going to kind of create a little round edge going around and going down and that's going to be measuring 26 around 26 centimeters so once I have the two rounds I will be coming back and we are going to be measuring that together so I'm going to be doing just the beginning of this one with you and then you can do the two that we have to do and I'm going to be doing mine off the camera so create shell on top of shell into this very first shell here. So very simple, you're going to be following the same steps, so chain one and then you're going to be skipping the chain one from the previous round, go into the first stitch and then double crochet and then you're going to be creating one double crochet into every stitch that you have here. So you're going to be having nine double crochets in total. So as you can see, we have no increases or decreases. So we are just following the stitches that we have here into the previous round. So chain one and then shell on top of shell and then chain one and one double crochet on top of the next nine stitches. Remember that we are skipping the two chain one spaces at the beginning and at the end here. 
into every section so we are not using those stitches and then from here you can just follow the same steps all the way around and then we are going to be doing one more round exactly like this one so we are going to be having 10 rounds in total for this part and then when I come back I will show you how it looks like and also we are going to be measuring this one together so here as you can see I've completed my two rounds without increases or decreases and this is how it looks like you will see that it's going to curve a little bit that's just because we are not increasing anymore we are going to now start to decrease so that we can create the actual barrage that we are doing and here you are supposed to have 26 centimeters of rounds all right and now we are going to be moving on into the next round and we are going to be doing the next one with one decrease where we have the double crochets remember that we are not touching we are not doing anything with the shells the shells here the cluster shells will always be the same we are doing the decreases and increases where we have the double crochets here so this one it's round number 10 and now we are going to be moving on into round 11 so go ahead and create the very first shell here at the beginning then we are going to chain one and we are going to be creating double crochets into the next three stitches remember that we are skipping the chain one space that we have here in between the double crochets and the shells and then into the next two stitches we are going to be doing a decrease so how you create a decrease you are going to be creating the very first part of a double crochet and then you're going to yarn over pull through keeping the last one on the hook yarn over go into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two keeping that last one on the hook and now you should have three loops on the hook and then you're just going to yarn over pull through all the loops so that's a decrease and now you can just go and complete all the other double crochets that we have in this section so we had nine stitches here into the previous round so now where we have the double crochets here we have eight because we are decreasing so as you can see here one two three four five six seven eight and then you're going to chain one go into and right on top of the next shell and then you're going to be doing a shell so now we are going to chain one and we are going to be repeating the same on top of these double crochets again so skip chain one space go into the next stitch and then you're going to be doing one double crochet into the next three stitches and then the next two we are going to be doing a decrease first part of a double crochet yarn over pull through two keeping the last one on the hook wrap the yarn around the hook go through the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two keeping the last one on the hook yarn over pull through all the loops so decrease and now complete the double crochet stitches here by creating double crochets on top and you should have eight stitches in total so this one is now counting as one and not two and then chain one and follow the same steps all the way around so I'm going to be doing this round and then I will be back to show you the next one in, in which is going to be a little bit different so we are going to be adding one more decrease in between the double crochets so I have completed now round 11 as you can see and it's going in even more and it's going to close until about here so now for 12 and 13 we are going to be doing instead of doing one decrease we are going to be doing two decreases here where we have the double crochets all right so we, we are following the same steps but just doing two decreases here 
where we have the double crochets. So let's go ahead and do that. So do your first shell and then chain one and now let's start here where we have the double crochets. So here we have eight stitches and we are going to be having six when we complete both decreases. So skip the chain at the beginning, go into the very first stitch that you can find and then you're going to be creating a decrease here at the beginning into the next two stitches. And then you're going to go all the way to the other side of the double crochets until you have two stitches left. Just creating double crochets. So once you have two stitches left, you're going to be doing a decrease here at the end as well. So we are going to be having one decrease here at the beginning and one at the end and then chain one and create the next shell, shell completed, and then you're going to chain one and you're going to be repeating the same on top of these double crochets. So into the next two stitches, double crochet stitches, we are going to be doing a decrease and then go all the way to the other side of the double crochets until you have two stitches left. So here, yeah, okay, so I have two stitches left. So now I'm going to be doing another decrease on this side. And then I'm going to chain one and then shell on top of shell and I'm going to be repeating this same step all the way around. So now we have round 12 completed. So now for 13, we are going to be doing exactly the same as round 12. So first go ahead and do the very first shell and then we are going to chain one and we are going to be creating decreases at the beginning and at the end of these double crochets. So one here at the beginning, skip the chain one space, go straight into the double crochet stitches and then you're going to be doing a decrease here at the beginning and then go to the other side until you have two stitches left here and here and then you're going to be doing another decrease just like this and then chain one shell on top of shell so now you can go ahead and repeat the same steps all the way around and then I'll meet you when I'm on row number 14 so that we can go into the next step. So now for round 14, we are just gonna go around and around exactly the same as we did. I think it was round nine and 10 that we did without the decreases or increases. So we are just going to be following what we have on the base and we are going to be going around and creating basically the same thing and um, I think I'm going to be doing that for two rounds and then the last one it's another one with decreases but I'm not sure um, if I'm gonna do that so first shell completed chain one and now here we have one two three four stitches so we are going to be creating double crochets on top of these stitches on top of the double crochets and also the decreases that we've created all right as you can see one two three and four and then chain one show on top of show that's all we are going to be doing for this round and also maybe the next one i'm going to be doing this one and then I'll check how it fits around my head and then I'm going to be doing another one if needed. But let's see, I will come back and I will let you know. I've done now round 15 and I've tried it on and it's still a little bit loose. For this one that I've created first, I've done one more. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little bit too light one more the very last one with decreases in between the double crochets again so i think i'm going to be doing exactly the same on this one 
So just de one decrease on top of the double crochets. Just so it's a little bit tighter because this one is a little bit tighter around my head and this one is just a little bit loose as you can see. So I'm going to be doing just one more round and it's going to be in total 16 rounds for the actual beret and then we are going to be doing the ribbing that you can actually decide how many you want to do. I think I've done one, two, three, four, five rounds. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I've done five rounds for this one here. So I'll probably do the same or one less. Let's see how this one is going to go. So let's go ahead and do the very last round with this pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and do this very first shell. So now you're going to chain one and you will see that here now we have four double crochets. So skipping the chain ones at the beginning, the chain one spaces, we are just working on top of the double crochets. So we are going to be doing the very first one, the very first double crochet, and then into the next two stitches, we are going to be doing a decrease. And then the last double crochet. Chain one and shell on top of shell. Chain one. And then you're going to be repeating the same on this side. So the first double crochet and then into the next two stitches we are going to be doing a decrease and then the last double crochet, chain one and then shell on top of shell and then just repeat this same step all the way around. So once you have the 16 rounds you should end up with a opening here without it stretching of about nine and a half, ten centimeters or even nine depending where you go. If you go here where the shells are you're probably gonna have like around nine. So it's going to be from nine to ten centimeters the opening here. Remember that if you are using a thicker yarn you will probably have to stop even before 16 rounds but I think that for this particular barret, for a barret, is good if you use a thinner yarn, maybe DK or maybe iron as well. It's going to look a little bit better. And also you'll see the detail a little bit more too. All right. So this is the opening that I have. So now I'm going to try this on so that you know how it fits without the ribbing because you can actually have it like this you don't have to do the ribbing because like this looks really nice too so i will probably not add the same amount of ribbing that i've done for this one i'm planning now because i just saw how it looked because i've recorded myself <laughs> trying it on so now i want to do a little bit less maybe only two rounds or maybe only three not all the all five rounds that i made for this one but you can see for yourself and see if you want to do two or five like this one all right so you will have it more slouchy it's going to have more movement than this one but it's going to be up to you you can always change up the pattern a little bit to what you like so just want to show you i've completed my 16 rounds and we are going to try it on <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so this is how you want it to fit as you can see it's pretty nice and snug around the face we will now add what is this oh, okay we will now add the ribbing so it's going to be a little bit more loud it's gonna look so pretty i love it look at it so before we move on and create the ribbing we can now turn our barret inside out so we are going to be working like this now <laughs> on the right side so from here we are going to chain three 
And then we are going to be following what we have and we are going to be creating double crochets on top. So we are not doing the shells here anymore. We are doing double crochets all the way around so we have a, a flatter base so that we can do the ribbing, which this ribbing here is the front post and back post double crochet, in which is my favorite ribbing ever. <laughs> So I'm going to be doing one stitch on top of the cluster where we have the shell and then we are doing two double crochets on top of the chain two space in between here the shell and then one double crochet on here the other side on top of this cluster and then one double crochet on top into the chain one space here we have three stitches where we have the double crochets. So we are going to be doing one double crochet on top of each of these stitches. And then we are going to be doing one on top of the chain one space. And then one on top of the cluster where we have the shell. And then two inside and on top into the chain two space one on top of the cluster and then one into the chain one space and then just following the same steps all the way around so i'm getting here now towards the end just following the stitches that we have here in the base all we have to do when we get here is just slip stitch into the chain three so just a slip stitch right on top and now we have the very first round completed of only double crochets as you can see so now to create the ribbing so we are going to first chain three so one two and three and then you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook you're going to be finding the next double crochet available and then you're going to be going under this double crochet as you can see my hook is going around it and under and then you're going to be pulling up a loop going around that double crochet and then you're going to be creating the double crochet right on top of that just like that and then you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook again and we are going to be doing the same thing but instead of grabbing it from the the back we are going to be grabbing it from the front going around like this and then double crochet so we are going to be doing one at the front and one at the back so the next one is going to be at the front because the previous one was at the back so wrap the yarn around the hook go around and under the double crochet and then pull up a loop and create double crochet and then this one we are going to be going through the back and grabbing it from the front so you're going to be repeating this same step grabbing one from the front and one from the back and then just go all the way around repeating this same step so I've got here at the end so I'm going to be doing my last back post double crochet and then I'm going to slip stitch into the chain three now we can try it on and see if we like it like this i do like it like that though because i think it looks really pretty so i've just tried it on and i really really liked with only two rounds for the finishing here for the ribbing so i am going to be keeping it like this only two rounds so the first one was only double crochets all the way around and then this one is the front post and back post double crochet but now if you want to do more rounds it's very simple so you're going to chain three and from here you're going to be following what you have into here the previous round so if you have a front post which is the double crochet that is sticking out you are going to go underneath and around the double crochet and create a double crochet if you find the double crochet that it's at the back you're gonna go around the back of the double crochet 
and double crochet on top. So front post, front post, back post, back post. All right, just if you want to do so, you're gonna get the double crochet that it's at the front and then the double crochet that it's at the back. You're just going to be following what you already have here into the previous round. And that's how you're gonna do a next round if you need to do a next round or if you wanna do a next round. So I'm going to be keeping it like this and we are basically now finished with our beret. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to be cutting a little bit of the yarn. And now I'm going to fasten off. Oh my God, we are done. And we can now weave in. So I'm going to be using my tapestry needle. So thread this yarn into your tapestry needle. And then we can just weave in. So I'm gonna go ahead and weave in both of the yarns that I have here. And then I will be back to show you the finished project. So here we have our autumn beret completed. I'm super excited because this is my first time crocheting a beret and also for autumn, that is my favorite season. So I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. <laughs> and I made the very first one, as you can see here. So they are both exactly the same. The only thing that it's a little bit different is the finishing, the ribbing here at the end. This one has five rows, five rounds in total, and this one only two. So we have our beret completed, and you can always do a few changes if you want. You don't have to do exactly like I did here. This one, you can see more the details because the color is a little bit lighter, and also the different shades. And here, the yarn is colorful, but I still love it. And when it's on, you can actually see the detail as well of the pattern that I've chosen for this beret. So yeah, everyone, we are done with our autumn beret. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun crocheting this and I loved this so, so much. I never, never liked um, my face, my head with a beret before. So when I made this and I tried it on, I really, really loved it. So I think you should try if you think that you don't suit a beret because once I made this and I tried it on, I didn't want to take it off. So I do really recommend you giving this one a try. And also if you end up making these, don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you post any pictures, also on Facebook, or you can also DM them to me if you don't want to post on Instagram just to show me your finished project, your finished crochet beret. Oh my God. I love this everybody. Let me know in the comments how it was for you guys to follow this tutorial. Also, if you have any recommendations, any suggestions for autumn, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear all your thoughts and all your ideas as well. So yeah, we are done. Thank you everyone for watching and sticking out until the end. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. So thank you so, so much everyone for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.